Hello everyone, welcome to another video and before everything else I would like to apologize to um, all to you who wanted to access Dynamo Scripts website, my website, but in the last couple of days uh, you were unable to do that. I will try to explain why and probably I will apologize a couple more times. So, uh, I, I do follow the user experience on my website from time to time and the Google sent me uh, like a message where uh, they told me that the user experience on mobile devices was not that great and that uh, for some parameters uh, they would like to have that my website opened uh, content uh, in less than a two and a half seconds. That sounds incredibly small time but probably that was a lot of time for somebody to wait that the page load uh, and also over here you can see uh, the screenshot and this is a public web page uh, it is not that I'm showing you something that you cannot anyways see it these uh, statistics and these analytics so on the desktop if you're looking my website through the desktop this statistic is okay, so from 100 points I have 96. It is not that I did optimize the site for, for desktop, but I think that because you need to read, you will need to see what packages uh, that I use, you will need to see also the video, how the script was created, so I think that it is almost impossible uh, to get all of that uh, through a mobile device, maybe on the tablet you can do that. But nevertheless, um, I wanted to try to optimize uh, this experience uh, and uh, at that point I did create a series of mistakes. So like Dynamo, web development was not my job, so I did create my own website. I did have some past experience with web development, but this is a WordPress uh, website and in the past three years I did create a lot of content so we have I think almost 100 videos uh, we have like 70 or 80 scripts um, and I did try to improve that over time so yes we have like 60 and over here we have seven so we have almost 70 scripts so what I did I did try a lot of different ideas how to bring this score up and how to speed the website and I did try to optimize the content, images, the amount of text and everything, but that was not enough. I did maybe uh, improve these statistics for 10-15%. Uh, then this site suggested that I should take care of uh, CSS files, so probably uh, that I do have multiple CSS files on my website and uh, that it will be good that I have one which take care of the entire website and from that point uh, I did break my website and it wasn't uh, so easy to bring it back so of course because I knew that there is a risk that I will break my own website and I did that in the past but probably you didn't spot it because uh, I always create backup files and when I cannot undo what I did change I will just um, restore that backup and everything will be in place so again um, I apologize because all of that I did bring uh, the entire website online I did check we have all the users we have all the content and as a way of apologizing for the people who maybe did try to buy uh, the scripts over the past couple of days I did reduce a little bit those prices for the users that are already registered on my website I cannot say anything else except that I'm very sorry and I will try to avoid this uh, kind of uh, actions uh, in the future so I did break the website and uh, the problem did start from the point where I did try to restore but uh, as always you have your content which is on the FTP server if you have your database where we did store all the users and entire content 
and that link between the content and the database didn't function anymore. The next problem that I did have is the uh, authority over my database. So I did pay uh, the hosting and the domain for the entire year, but I didn't have uh, enough authority on my hosting provider to restore all of that data. So anytime when I did try to uh, restore database, I didn't have enough authority when I did try to delete everything from the database and to add it again. I also couldn't do that. I didn't find a way to contact uh, quickly my hosting provider and to get any response. So I choose to buy another hosting, to buy another domain, uh, to transfer existing domain uh, to a new company. And then I did uh, learn that uh, when you're transferring domain that it can take up to three days. Initially, I did want it to uh, took a couple of days to restore this uh, website and maybe to improve some things. I did have a couple of ideas, but that procedure where we needed to transfer the domain uh, itself took like three or more days. And, and now if I took uh, also three or four days to improve some things and to try um, try to optimize some things, then I would have 10 days uh, where my website wouldn't work. And some of you already contacted me to, to ask what is the problem when the site will be online again. So I didn't want to postpone any, any minute longer. Um, I did restore everything. I did fix some things. Um, and again, I'm very sorry about uh, this inconvenience. I will try to learn from this mistake. Uh, the reason why I didn't in this case go with a local copy of the website is uh, because I cannot train this uh, on the local uh, on the local machine because every time I change something, uh, this uh, website would ping my domain, would ping uh, some page and it will give me results back and if everything is my a local machine everything will be okay it will be very fast and i would not have a good representation of the results but nevertheless uh, i will try to uh, break this uh, task into the smaller pieces and eventually i hope that uh, for the users that uh, access the site over the mobile device that I will try to, to fix this. And again, I'm very sorry about all of this and have a great weekend. Bye.